Let us be honest, since their introduction in 2013 or 14 by Peter K as his vapor Orba, many RDTS came down the line. But how much different are they from each other? I believe none. And this one is no different. Hey folks, Korax here. But there is one good thing going on with this one. You noticed, right? It can chuck some clouds. Let's discuss today. The Symphony RDTA by Amer Point, which is designed for fancy coils. Symphony by Amer Point. So, what is it? Another RDTA, but designed for producing clouds, and it is doing a wonderful job of it. Besides, very well constructed, made of 316 grade stainless steel, quartz glass, airflow control, and with a unique mouthpiece. 22 mm diameter, 3 mm capacity, and goddamn easy to set up. Let's take a closer look. liking this packaging. Handmade cardboard tubes feels very very artsy. Labeled in Russian. Yes, these are made in Russia folks. Well secured inside. Spares baggie some o-rings and the 510 drip tip adapter i will show its use later and here is the symphony wrapped in sponge padding stainless steel body acrylic mouthpiece and quartz tank yes it definitely looks different specifically due to its strange mouthpiece Heatsink top cap, it sure needs that. With two Clapton suboming inside, the environment will heat up pretty soon. Graphics under the base, these are laser etched and each ATI is serialized. The 510 protrudes quite a bit, so it will make contact with every and any mod, I am sure. It is a 22mm ATI and 35mm tall without the mouthpiece on the 510. It feels substantial too. Shy of 39 grams when empty. This mouthpiece can be swapped with any standard drip tip using the supplied 510 adapter. And then the weight shoots up to about 45 and half grams. With a 510 drip tip, it stands around 47 grams. Remember, this will vary between drip tips, depending on their size, shape and material. And when full, it is nearly 48 grams. Reduce that a little using the proprietary mouthpiece. Yes, got it at 44 grams. So generally speaking, it is quite a heavy atomizer. Now let's check the internals. This mouthpiece is threaded. Quite a strong acrylic piece 
not filmsy at all. Waist shaped ultra wide board, 18 mm base to 12 mm topped. But surprisingly, no discomfort using it. It is actually quite pleasant to vape with. But you can use your favorite drip tips here as well, like I showed you with the supplied adapter. By the way, this adapter also has two securing holes. You can use your pair of tweezers to tighten it down. Especially useful if it gets stuck. Then the tweezers could help unfastening it. Nice thread work done here. And overall, the machining is also done pretty well. The top cap is just press fit and quite a chunky piece of metal it is. This Addy is industrial grade, solidly built from every angle. And here is the workstation folks. Two posts with four mounting points, a velocity deck, like many other Addys out there. The mounting screws need a hex key, the size of which unfortunately I don't have. But luckily, my ultra-thin Phillips screwdriver seems to work perfectly here. The coils are bottom air fed, which I absolutely prefer. Four base air holes, 1.8 mm each. The air is drawn through the top cap's twin air holes alright, but they enter the base from underneath. Not like most other ATs, where it directly hits the coils from the sides. Airflow can be adjusted by rotating the top cap. These are 2 mm diameter holes, two of them, one on each side. Coils will be mounted inclined here, two of them. This is a breather tube. It has direct access to the liquid inside the tank, which helps against air locking the ATI. The Symphony actually wicks very well. We will talk about it later. First, let me dismantle the tank now. You will need appropriate Allen keys to unthread this 5-ton screw. This is a huge screw, isn't it? No wonder it took so long to unthread. Here is the hollow breather tube. With a hole that sits submerged in e-liquid, which assists in pressure displacement as per Pascal's principle. The positive and negative plates are separated by this PEK isolator ring. The negative post is milled with its plate. But the positive post is CNC pressed. There is also a green isolator under it, if you can notice. And there is a PEK isolator in the 510 housing as well. Press fit tank held in place between these two O-rings. Similarly, the top cap is held by the other o-ring on the deck plate. Well done tank here. This is a quartz tube if I am not mistaken. It is not glass because it is thinner but stronger. I am also liking this frosted finish. It gives a classy feel to the Addy.
edges are flame polished smooth absolutely no imperfections so these are the main parts of this addy base plate with 510 housing tank tube retainer screw with its isolator deck assembly top cap with air holes proprietary mouthpiece and 510 drip tip adapter now let's take it for a wash after washing you must always lube up the o-rings i use vaseline you may use a bit of e liquid in lieu or any edible food grade lubricant like hanes silicon grease super lube etc lubing immensely help with assembly and easy operation of every addy looking good now let's set it up coiling and wicking this addy is pretty straightforward and easy even with two chunky claptons these are 28 by 32 awg canthal hybrids 2.5 mm internal diameter the mounting holes here are 2.2 mm wide with a post to post distance of 5.6 mm while screw holes are nearly 10 mm apart these will thus accept any type and size of coil i'm actually bending the coil legs to manage this extra room I'm keeping a gap of around 2 mm under the coil. I find 1.5 to 2 mm airway space is the best for VTF. Simple single wire coils, 1.5 mm air gap. Fancy coils, 2 mm airway. One down, second to go. simple and easy wasn't it now let's check the resistance and test it 0.74 ohms firing at 40 watts all good let's put a wick through it I will be using my favorite cello cotton rayon today. Roll it slightly, one end pointy, and insert. Slide it back and forth so that the wick sits evenly inside. I will keep the wick tails approximately two centimeters long each side. and just tuck them down into the wick holes no special precaution or preparation is required just remember rayon packs tighter than cotton so you have to use more wicking material here just shove them in You may choose to keep them slightly longer than 2 mm so that they are visibly hanging inside the tank picking up juice but i found it unnecessary with our usual tilt while taking a draw the wicks remain well saturated all the time second wick now here is an issue since there are no separate filling ports in this addy we have to use one of the wick holes itself to fill the tank So before we can tuck the wick tails down we have to first fill this addy Tip keep both wick holes open so that when filling through one 
the other acts as an air escape route. This will help with faster filling without surge backs. Now tuck both the wig tails down and test its performance. Though by now the wigs got saturated by itself, but no harm in boosting it a little, right? Still reading 0.74 ohms, firing it at 40 watts. Oh yes, the setup is fine. Attach the top cap. And now the moment of truth. Man, can this chuck some clouds? Wonderful airflow system going on here. Designing the air channels under the coil is a pretty cool trick. It became a force multiplier for VTF here. Yes friends, for a RDDA, a dual coil one at that, this symphony is surprisingly flavorful. I did not expect that at all. I had been using it for over a month now. Used many setups and various types of e-liquids. The flavor has always been right. And this Addy has given me no issues at all. But remember folks, the symphony is strictly for clouds, direct lung heads. There is no way one can do mouth to lung with this Addy. And here are my final thoughts. Yes, I said that it is just another RDTA. Oh yes it is. But there are five nice things going on here which makes it a worthy contender. Number one. Like I said, it is pretty unique for a RDTA. Yes, the symphony is designed for clouds. But it also throws out pretty nice flavor. I am surprised with that. RDTAs with a velocity deck are known for clouds only. The flavor would be <laughs> not with this ID. Amir Point has welcomingly managed to give out RTA flavors with a RDTA. And I think it is because of its creative airflow management system. Number two. Yes, folks, the airflow here, not directly hitting the coils through the top cap, is channeled from underneath which is making a great impact. Massive airflow, but it is also very well organized. It will be a pleasant vape for a direct lung hitter, but can also be a very good addy for transitioning mouth to lung vapors. Because it is not uneasy at all to vape with, the draw is perfectly fine even for a restricted lung hitter like me. And given that I am also getting my high-end RTA type flavors but with clouds has got me totally sold. Number 3 Bloody easy to coil and wick, isn't it? With around 10 mm post to post distance and over 2 mm inner diameter of the screw holes, this thing can take any type of wire. You can plonk in any coil in it. And then drop down the wick tails without overly thinking about it. It will feed well. Whatever you do. Over a month of use, Many type of builds through it, many different viscosities of e-liquids, that's my guarantee. For a 22mm Addy, setting up this quick, effortlessly, flawlessly, you have a winner here my friends. Number 4. I personally find this to be a very good looking Addy, though my daughter disagrees. Papa, this is ugly. In any case, it looks different, especially due to this strange looking mouthpiece. Yes, it is strange, I agree, but it is very comfortable in the mouth. No issues vaping with this at all. Though we can use the standard drip tips, thanks Amirpoint for including the 5 ton adapter, I find myself preferring this mouthpiece always. For the kind of vape this AT is designed for, this mouthpiece definitely helps for forming clouds if you know what I mean. 
Nonetheless, it sure stands out among the crowd. Number 5 Notwithstanding its commonness with other RDTAs, the symphony is actually very well constructed. Good quality materials are used, machining is done right and everything sits into place perfectly. Airflow control, 3 ml capacity, robust tank, minimalist design and comes with an artsy packaging. What is there not to like about? Well, it is still not without its quirks. Now let me first get this straight. On the performance point of view, this Atty is flawless. No issues here at all. Setting it up is simple and it vapes very very well. The four things I'm about to list now are either generalist or presentation related. Number one. There is no Allen key in the package. I do not know why the modder did not add it. Any and every atomizer which uses hex keys comes with an Allen key. This does not. And though I have many sets of Allen keys, none of them fit the post screw heads. I was fine with the bottom 510 post pole. But how many times do you need to dislodge that unless you break the tank? But you will need to periodically coil it, right? Number 2. Why not a spare tank is added in the package? I think it is petrifying to have a wonderful atomizer like this but with a broken glass. And what if it arrives with a broken tank? I had one situation like that with my KFN5. It arrived with broken glass but luckily it had a steel tank as well, not this one. In my opinion, if China can do it, so can our models. Add a spare tank that is. Number 3 I feel without a filling port, there is a missed opportunity here. Many will find that a deal breaker. It is especially problematic when you are refilling this ID. You will have to pull out not one, but both the wig tails. One for filling it, the other to act as a reverse airflow, air escape route. Else, you will have either a long way to fill the tank or you will have a leaky mess. Yes, I have tried. The hollow shaft passing through the center of the tank and through the deck cannot be used for refilling it. Initial filling is fine, but refilling it? That's a workload by itself. Number 4 Now this one is not specific to this ATI, but all RDTAs as such. Genesis ATIs, that's what a RDTA is, is always prone to leaking. That's given. And this is no different. You have to take extra care handling it. One wrong move, the ATI is upside down or lying on the table flat, you will have juice leaking out from its air holes. These have to be kept upright always. But there is one more thing. Number five. And one more thing. Though this Addy is designed for dual coils, but you see, not everybody uses dual coils all the time. They should have included a chamber reducer in the package. Most dual coil Addies come with that a silicon gasket to block the air holes and the wicking ports on the unused side. Symphony by Amerpoint Overall, this is a very fine atomizer my friends. The cons can be easily overlooked due to the amazingly great vape you get out of this ID. Yes, the draw is loose, very loose, but it is still enjoyable nonetheless. Especially great if you are looking for a cloud chaser. Then this is it. Like I said, it is just another RDTA. Same concept, same design, but still it has some nice features to set it apart. For 97 euros, it is not a bad purchase at all. In my book, I give it 4 stars. It could have been 5 if they had supplied that allen key and a spare tank. And yes, if there was a filling port in it. But still, I do like it. For the clouds, bro.
By the way folks, I am giving away this mod if you remember, along with the drip tip. The contest is still open, but the time is running out. It will be closed in another 3 days. So hurry on friends, if you have not already entered the giveaway. This is a beautiful mod, absolutely worth grabbing. I hope you enjoyed the video my friends. Have a great day ahead. And as always, remember, vaping is a healthier alternative. And we have the right to make that choice.